In this part, you're going to learn to spot a vision problem based on behaviors and compensation tactics. Now, you're going to get very, very good at this. You're going to be able to look around the room when you have a new group of students and based on what you're seeing, literally be able to say, aha, I think this person has an eye movement control problem or, oh, this person has a visual memory problem. You're going to see it happening. Typically, when we help students with visual memory skills, the instructions are not remembered and the individual has to ask to have them repeated. Let's try a little visual memory test. I'll show you a pattern, then take it away. Perceptual skills. Then I'll show you Remember, the visual efficiency skills are the foundation for all other visual skills. In this case, the visual efficiency skill of eye-teaming altered your depth perception, and then you couldn't perform the perceptual skill of eye-hand coordination. Okay, so what is form reproduction? Form reproduction is the way in which linear and geometric forms are perceived and then reproduced. Because letters, numbers, and words are forms, this skill affects your neatness of writing and drawing. Now, form reproduction really relies first on form perception, so that takes you back to visual discrimination and visual closure, and it also relies on eye-hand coordination. So you can't really look at form reproduction without looking at, uh, at these other skills. And in fact, for the purposes of this program, we're separating all of the skills so that you can learn what they are and understand them, but they frequently overlap. And that's why it's important to be very educated on them because you'll see them overlapping and how one problem might relate to another. So how do you recognize a form reproduction problem? Well, first of all, they don't recognize the small similarities and differences. When